Hello, welcome to a little tutorial showing you how to make a stack with the Racelight Revolt flight controller and the new Spectrum SPM 46490 cellular telemetry receiver. Yeah, those that follow me on Facebook know that I'm super, super excited about this receiver since I'm a Spectrum guy and um, what I was using for quadcopters was the Orange R620 V2 telemetry receiver and as you all know that's an orange receiver and not a genuine spectrum receiver so I was very excited that Spectrum finally released a, a small receiver that has built-in telemetry and yeah it's even better than I had hoped for since the I think it's a pretty big deal since this is I think the first time that we get in the RC hobby industry a protocol uh, that supports one wire telemetry and RC link. So I will show you how to solve this on here and we are only gonna use those three pins. So how does this work? The F4 chip has on what well, try in this case uh, the TX pad, um, it can listen and send at the same time. Oh, well, well, that's the same time. But all we're gonna need to sort up is the TX3 pad, the VCC, and the uh, ground. And if you look at the design here, it's actually supposed to work together. They were designed at the same time and with the knowledge of each other. And you can see those three pads here, or holes. They aren't used right now. If you look closely, um, do you have anything to point? Yeah, just use this. If you look close, this connector here has four pins. Right now, only three wires are connected, but the corresponding pins are here, those four. And those three here aren't used right now, and those three holes are meant to stack onto here. And to be really sure that those are the right pads, I will put this in here and just make a quick continuity test. Since I don't want to blow my only receiver I got. Um, yeah, like that, so this continuity. So, so red goes to this here and let's check where it Sits. So this is red power. Yeah, so that's like normal with a servo connector. Sender is VCC. Then we go here, that should be black, so it should be ground. Okay, so this is ground, so we have ground, 5 volt or VCC, and then that should be our signal. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the dead one. I'm not gonna use this one. So let's recap. We have five volts here, ground here, and signal in both ways, bidirectional here. Okay, so, so now we're gonna remove this connector here. Just desolder the, those four pins and push it down. And then hopefully we can stack it like this. So the signal goes to UR, oh, UR3, uh, the TX pad here. So it will look like, well, like this. Actually, you can see it. I will be, it will be pretty flat. The the that big cap will lay near to this one, the flash chip. But yeah. So let's get to it. I'm a little bit nervous since, like I mentioned, it's my only. The only one I got, I will make it work. Worst case, if we desolder any components, we can just put them back on, I think. Ah, look at that. That's actually pretty loose already. This in here. 
and you can already grab it like this. So all components still on there. And then the other side looks good as well, does it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so that was the scariest part, I think. I will leave that connector on here. Normally you don't need that since RageFly supports um, sending telemetry data off the LiPo voltage to the receiver. So this is just the analog. Um, voltage measuring thing that's built in. So if you aren't using a flight controller that has that uh, capability of sending telemetry, uh, you can still get telemetry information on your transmitter uh, using this connector here. I think this one I'll actually will use will be used for the lab timer as well. So it doesn't interfere with my plans. So I will just leave it there. So let's get into the flight controller. First of all, we need five volts on the ECC pads. So what we're gonna do is, let's check this out here. We have ECC and five volts. So I will bridge this here. I know I don't have the finest solder, but that should be sufficient, shouldn't it? Okay, so let's flip this around. I will leave those like this and snip them off later. But for soldering, that should do it. I'll try to put it in like this so I don't move the pins. Not sure that's necessary or not. Uh, yeah, and don't uh, tell me I can't solder. I know I can't, but that's just this dial I do. Why shouldn't I do it? I need to learn it, so that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. about those pads I want them covered. Yeah, that should do the trick. So now let's check again ground. Ground, ground, signal. Yeah, and this is in the middle. Okay, so let's put this in here. Let's be careful about the USB. Yeah, that should work. And let's see. I never can have enough flux on there. There's already solar on here, so it won't fit that easily. But eventually. So we got time, don't we? So actually, I will try to. Leave a little gap in between these so I don't care much about that cap to be honest. So that's a 
actually after the rent. So we'll shift it slightly because it's hitting the uh, flash chip here. But I think I'm I'm pretty 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 I'm actually really happy about how this went. So that's just one spot. I need to add some solder. Two. So the cool thing about this wrench, I think it's called wrench, is um, I'm not sure you can see this, but inside here is a really a little ledge, so the pins couldn't be pushed further down. So that was a big big help. So that looks pretty sexy, emo. I think I don't even need to put anything in here, but well, I will think about it, but that's actually pretty sexy. So now let's let's grab some cutters and I won't cut it too low, but I'll just cut it like this, closing the eyes. Shrapnels everywhere. And I'll leave them just a tad longer here. Since the connector is actually protrude, protrude, protruding anyway, so Close the eyes. Oh, mate. Pretty sexy. That is way cooler than I thought it would be, and I, I really expected it to be cool. So, yeah. So, I think so much for the video. I will flash the Race Light Filmware, the newest version on there, so I can play with it. But I hope this helps. And. Yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.